<laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have been a physio 20 years. So I have been reading, treating humans and animals already quite a while. So different kind of cases have been going through my hands already many years but yeah. the last 10 years I have been really focusing my myself in the fascia and I have been really digging really deep with this this thing yeah. and I'm always very fascinated when we come to this topic and I'm very happy to teach it and talk about it and share my knowledge about it. The, their um, presentation you're going to see guys is nuts. Um, so I have made lovely friends with a lady called Helly who's been on twice who blew my socks off with her talk about obesity, <laughs> biomechanics obesity and then I um, I emailed her and said, look, I really need to talk about fascia on CAM. Would you like to do it? She went, no, but I know who will. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, greetings um, to Ellie. <laughs> Ellie surely is listening. And yeah. uh, so she very much gave you the mantle to carry for this one. And the, the presentation is awesome. So let me just quickly tell you why this is important. So I've been a vet for 20 years and around about 2013, I got a little bit obsessed about arthritis and about musculoskeletal management from a first opinion practitioner point of view. And the simple thought in my head was, oh my God, this is a big volume of this dog in front of me. It's like 45% of this dog's body weight is muscle and soft tissue. And I don't know very much about it. So I went on a little journey and I went and did a clinical massage course called Garland Myotherapy where I got introduced to fascia, which I had learned a little bit about at university, but not to any extent to really understand it. And I was very much one of those classic students that in the dissection room, they'd be like, right, pull that white stuff out of the way and find the muscle. Pull the white stuff out of the way, get down to the bone and the nerves and the blood vessels, see where they go, see what they do. And this white stuff was everywhere. And it was a real pain to pull off, getting your scalpel blade in, trying to peel it off. And um, it really wasn't given the huge amount of respect that it's now accruing. And it is a very big topic in human medicine. And it's a very big topic in animal medicine. So I think what the best thing to do now is hand over to you, let you do your presentation. I'll try not buy in, I promise. And, um, <laughs> then people can start seeing how this all fits together and at the end we can take questions and try and piece it all yeah. together. 